how did he catch catch Charleston slipping like that? His wife was in there too, and his brother was there too, right? His brother was part owner of the shop with me. He's still part owner of the shop. Hell no. So you cut him all the way off. He, he cut, just come he, home though, he didn't basically, he? He basically what he did. He basically like he went. PC, if you've been in prison, he was like, he went PC, his mama come up there, they got a sheet and packed up everything in one bag. Like that, I'm talking, in, in 10 minutes, say, man, I feel vulnerable up here. Right, and I was like, what? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I talked about Charleston White. I talked about just that incident, looking at the video that I seen surface last night. Right. Okay, but when I seen it, it was like, okay, people in the comments start saying, oh, they set him up. Now, I want to ask you something. Like, I seen you come from the back. You was in the video and you tried to shake uh, Kevin. Alleged, uh -huh. Yeah, his hand. and But that didn't go that way, right? So, the setup part, I want to ask you, uh, like, like, was this a setup? Uh, first of all, was this real? That's what the people ask, too. Was this a real situation? It's a thousand percent real. Yeah, I just got attacked by Kevin Spencer asleep in the barber chair. Hit me upside the head with a gun. Authentic as hell. Authentic as hell. Okay. Now, once he comes over, once was it a setup? That's nah. what the people want to know. No word near a setup. I don't even know how he come up with it that it was a setup. Okay. Do you know Kevin um, Spencer? I know of him. I know him through like uh, I'm a blood, and the dude that I call my brother, which we grew up in the same neighborhood, we grew up banging against each other, mm -hmm. doing certain stuff. So that became my. I used to idolize him in basketball, but once game banging started, he went his way, and I had to go my way. Right, and we just right around the corner from each other. In Eastwood, you're gonna turn a corner, Crips, you're gonna turn a That's corner right. to blood. So you always at odds with somebody, mm -hmm. but it's always somebody in that neighborhood that you still like. You know what I'm saying? That you still got love for. It's just like it was a natural, like a bond with us. Like you got a pass for some reason. You know what I'm saying? I let and you, that's how you was with Kevin. You no, know, with. With, with the brother that with the brother, that's okay, with Kevin. okay, okay, okay. Right. So that's how you so, knew him. That's so, how I knew so him. So when when he, when he comes in, you don't know he's coming. I don't. I matter of fact, I'm walking from the store. My barbershop. I had walked to the store, so I'm coming back from the store. And as I'm coming, my phone ring, and he said, "Bro, here. This is that's his friend. That's Kevin's uh, white. That's mm -hmm. his brother because he's he working in my shop. We just come together with the shop." So uh, he say, bro, I say, I'm right here. I'm coming down the thing. So he come, he said, I got them shirts in there because I had been asking the brother to give me some of them, a uh, couple of them shirts. Yeah. But I'm thinking that he's going to get the shirts and give to him because he's been on the road doing everything. He said, I've been busy, bro. I can't, I'll get it to you. So that's how I figured I was going to get it. It was through the brother. But when he came, because I used to cut, I've been cutting Charles and her probably since maybe 2019, maybe 20. So it's a long time. For a long time, you know what I'm saying? I just cause how he's working, he used to be in the Lexus when he first started in Lexus. Yeah. He used to mm -hmm. sit in the Lexus all the time in the car. That's what yeah. I used you know to be out here. In the alley, he's sitting in the alley, and this is in my neighborhood. So I always knew where it was. I just go around there and talk to him. He brought King Bobby Louie down here. We went and got him on my bus, on my mobile bus, cause I uh, and we rode King Bobby Louie around. We came to my block, blessed my block. We did all that with him. And even after he left in, he turned on me. For something, I, I I was saying something about the police. And he called me all kind of stupid punk motherfucker. Really? And, yeah, was, oh, so was this wasn't the first time you and him had had the issues. But no. you still was cool with it. Y'all still cut each other. I you still, still cut just, his hair. It, just, me, it ain't nothing Charles can do can make me want to fight him or do something to him, man. He too little. No, but you know what normally what when he get mad at somebody, he cut them off. So he never no, really he just... he bad cut. about you. But see, where I come from, man, I, uh, I was raised in Eastwood. I had a basketball coach named Coach Gales, mm -hmm. right? That's one of the hardest coach, best coach I ever. Then I went to the army with drill sergeants and all this here. Me and then I go to prison, man. You got to hear all so kind of talk. So you used to all of that, man. That talk don't mess with me. So you know what I'm saying? So he what you said? What it was 100 percent not a setup. So when he's in there, you 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 just come to shake uh, Kevin's no, hand. No, I pick my shirts. I pick. What? What you talking about? Was that you come from the back when somebody shook his hand no, in this I'm, video? No, I'm going to tell you how. I'm, let me how go that back. video get there like that? Okay. It's set up perfectly. It's set up perfectly. Okay, so when he come in, 
Charleston trying to uh, put his, he going live. He went live, right? So when he go live, it go dead because my Wi-Fi don't work. I'm getting, I'm switching companies. I'm waiting on them at a two o'clock, at a, maybe like a three o'clock to bring the boss. I was getting a new T-Mobile, right? So I'm waiting on it to drop in the mail. Yeah. So um, it cut off. So he cut it back on again. It played about maybe five, seven minutes, and then it cut off. So by the time we walking in the shop, he tried it one more time. He cut it on, and it worked about two minutes, and it cut off. And I said the exact words, so I said, God don't want you to play that, right? So as he sitting down, I said, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to record it. I set it down, and I'm thinking I'm pushing, I moved it down the video, if you look on your phone video, but I hit slow-mo. So the whole time I'm cutting his hurt, this thing is going in slow motion. Really? Yeah. So 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 after the after the whole scuffle in, as I go back in, I'm going back in trying to clean up. I look at my say, man, that phone been recording the whole time. The whole time. So, but when when you see, because Kevin, he had he, from what he said, and this is Charleston White said he had called Kevin Spencer a snitch or something. Call it snitch, whatever going on, child molest, whatever. All Everything that. you can under the sun to make a man want to fight you. Make and, a man want to do something to you. And if he knew they had differences when Kevin come in, he, he would sleep because he, he sleep a lot. He sleep a lot. He would sleep. He didn't even see him coming. Man, Charles would sleep on me. See, you, see he, I know he was comfortable. Because my shop is very comfortable, home warming. You know what I'm saying? You really, once you come there, you're going to be the only one in the shop. It, the only time it's going to be like that, it might be three or four people in there on the Saturday because that's how I, I gap it out so everybody can be called on nobody sitting on nobody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So everybody's scheduled. See, that's, that's why I came up with my mobile walks because I don't like a lot of crowds. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And you don't I, take walk ins. I, I take walk ins. Oh, so but, somebody can just walk in. Yeah, but I, I cut so good and fast, you're not going to be sitting long. You oh. know what so, I'm saying? How did he catch catch Charleston slipping like that? His wife was in there too, and his brother was there too, right? His brother was part owner of the shop with me. He's still part owner of the shop. Hell no! So you cut him all the way off. He, he cut, just come he, home though, he didn't basically, he? He basically what he did. He basically like he went PC. If you've been in prison, he was like he went PC. His mama come up there. They got a sheet and packed up everything in one bag like that. I'm talking in, in ten minutes. Say, man, I feel vulnerable up here, right? And I was like, what? You know what I'm saying? But I'm cutting my son and her, so at this time I can't show no face in front of my son that I'm mad. So I'm like, I'm just keep cutting my hair. His mom said, yeah, the Lord know what's going on. The Lord know what's, I'm like, hey, what's she talking about? Was well, this after after, after after Charleston had got hit with the, with right. the two how feet? Far, how long after? This was the next two days. Next two days, because she was like, that's the place. She, she then came up there and, and blessed my building. Say, I like this spot, it's warm, it's close by the house. You know, I see you can grow right here. And man, we talking, he was dying women her, he was dying my her. So he was getting a big following off of me. He was, you know what I'm saying? He was getting a lot of business. And man, that man come up there in 10 minutes and wrecked that whole thing from, from what we worked on from prison to the streets. Charles would come through there like a tornado. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.